A lot of people that I work with and students that I teach often come to me with this question. How do I stay motivated even when I don't feel like doing the work? I've had answers to this question in the past before and very often they've been quite generic. Like, oh, remember your why or do this and do that and then that's how you stay motivated. But as time goes on, things change and I feel like for me, it's changed. Like how I stay motivated is completely different now to how I used to stay motivated last year or the year before that. So what am I doing at the moment? How do I stay motivated even when I'm doing things that I don't like? By the way, a lot of the time, I actually don't feel that motivated. But there's one thing that I do wanna share with you towards the end of this video that pretty much helps me get the work done anyway when I don't even feel like getting it done. Stick around to the end so you know what I mean. First thing I wanna share with you, and you might have heard this before, is that action precedes motivation. There is a common misconception out there that in order for you to do something, you have to be motivated before you actually do it. Jerome Bruner, a Harvard psychologist said this, you're more likely to act yourself into a new way of feeling than feeling yourself into a new way of action. Meaning that if you wanna be motivated, you wanna be inspired, you have to start taking action first. And when we take this approach to the work that we do, then we find we can actually be a lot more productive. We don't wait till last minute to get things done. And we don't waste time and energy waiting for motivation to ride on a horse nearby so that we can finally feel like we want to do the work. And when we're in this state, we're taking action regardless of whether or not we are motivated. We can enter that state commonly known as flow and experience happiness in the work itself which ideally is the state to be in whether we are working or studying. So if you know that you need to get things done, start taking action first and motivation will follow. The second thing I wanna share with you is happy people are more motivated in life. There is now heaps of research out there that supports this idea that happy people are a lot more productive and they're a lot more motivated at work. Instead, it was done in the US and it was found that people in the US who are unhappy was actually costing the working industry over $300 billion. So what does this mean for us? Ideally, if you can find a job that you feel really passionate about and you enjoy, then that's great. That's awesome because then you can find that happiness at that work and in the work that you do. But some of us aren't blessed enough to have that in our lives. And if that's the case, we can find happiness independent of our work, even though it does make up a big part of our lives. We can find that happiness within, which is obviously ideal, or we can search externally once again. We can search for it in health, family life, and also social life. When I was studying commerce at uni, I didn't enjoy it. I found the degree really dry. It didn't align with me at all. I reckon I really only made it through because of my friends. I studied, I hung out with them, and just by doing that, it made my university experience less challenging because they brought laughter, positive, and like happy experiences in my life. So it might even be for you, like finding that people at work that can like lift your spirits up and that help you remain motivated. Motivated. Why be sad and unmotivated alone when you can be sad and unmotivated together? I mean, it kind of does create a really nice, healthy and constructive relationship, wouldn't you agree? And the last thing I wanna share with you is something that I've been focusing on internally and really grappling with, and that is seeing the bigger picture. I think that this can benefit us incredibly if we think about this at a really deep level. When we get caught up in life's vicissitudes, in life's ups, and downs, whether we like something, whether we don't like something, it means that our behaviors get caught up in that also. Oh, I don't feel like studying today. I'm just gonna binge watch this TV show. Oh, I can't be stuffed working today. I'm just gonna call in sick. It's easy for us to have those types of experiences when we're focused on what we'd like and what we don't like. However, when we're focused on the bigger picture, the purpose, then we just ride the waves. We ride those ups and downs. We don't take what we like and what we don't like too seriously because we know what the end goal is. I've had to apply this to my psych degree. I actually do not enjoy studying psych as a degree. I feel like more often than not, it's uninspiring for me. It's unmotivating. It's very dry. And I just feel like all of the things that I'm studying is completely irrelevant. And so if I look at just that, if I say, you know what? this is what psychology is, then I'm gonna be very unlikely to be putting in effort. And as a result of me not putting any effort in, I'm not gonna get qualified. I'm going to leave everything until the last minute. I'm just gonna feel like my whole degree is a complete, massive, long, and difficult slog. But in spite of all this, I'm very clear on where it is I'm going to end up. And by being aware and understanding that goal and that purpose, I can actually enjoy that process because I'm making progress towards my destination. The difficult parts of the degree seem less like a problem and more of a situation for me to just deal with. And with this mindset, there's actually less barriers for me to put in effort and get started because there is an element of like lightness in the attitude in which I'm actually approaching the work. 
And this all happens when the bigger picture is in mind. See the bigger picture, my friend, because if you are continuously getting caught up in the likes and dislikes of whatever it is that you're studying or working on, your effort and your emotions are going to be volatile and you won't remain motivated. My friends, this is how I right now remain motivated. And hopefully this video has helped you. Hopefully it's made you think and reflect on what's gonna make you motivated. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one. Love ya, bye.